Hello friends. It's been a minute since I've given you guys a library tour. Actually, I'm not sure there's like a full library tour since I've moved in here. I know I did like a shelf organization and a vlog one time. I can't really remember to be honest, but either way, it's been quite some time and my library is looking a hot mess. So what I thought we would do is today do a little check out my messy, messy library with me. So then you guys can have the satisfaction of seeing the video once I do decide to finally get everything organized because I'm not totally sure how I'm gonna do it. So maybe also you guys can give me some help and ideas as of what I should do because at this point I have so many books, like too many books for the space that I have. I'm thinking about one day making some sort of shelving out in my dining room area because it's not like I'm going to stop collecting books anytime soon. I genuinely enjoy collecting books and I planned to continue to do so. So I just have to find a way to fit them. And right now, just wait till you guys see it. It's so, so bad, but I'll show you the overview because I have like cleaned things up a little bit recently as far as the room itself. So come with me. I'll take you on a full little tour. So we're in my living room. And this way is the library. Let's zoom out a little bit. So from a, from a far away glance, it's not looking too bad. This room is my favorite because of all the windows. So it gets so bright and sunny in here. So if you like, don't look closely and we go really, really quick, then the shelves themselves don't look bad. There's me. And wait till I show you guys up close. First things first, I need another plant for here because that majesty palm, what are those little spider bugs? Whatever it is, they got to it and I had to get rid of it. It's sad. But this one's doing pretty well. Kind of with like a hanging plant in this corner. And let's see. We'll go over the art wall first. So I have my dune print over here that I plan to hang in this space. And I do have like a couple other things that I'm gonna hang up soon. But this is like one of my favorite parts in the library, just some art I've gotten through the years. My mom got me some of these for like Christmas and then Mia art, smash the patriarchy. She's doing witchy things. This is Avatar art, full metal alchemist, of course a bee. And my gorgeous, gorgeous Mia art. I gotta like tilt this just right. Mm, you're not gonna be able to see it. You can see me though. And then on this wall, I have an old Abraxas candle that I still love and all my bookmarks. So that's fine, but I kind of don't really love this shelf here and I'm not sure I wanna keep it there. Tell me what are you guys thoughts on this little shelf here? Should I, should I do something different with it? and put it out in a different room, or do you like it there? Should I leave it? It just has some more of like the recent things I've been reading. So like this series that I loved, all of my Carissa Broadbent books, all of my Ken Liu books, all of my Jennifer Armitrout books, which I don't really read anymore. And then this, which you can't really see, is um, all of my newer romance books that I've gotten recently. Little Owl. So I'm loving the art over here not loving that shelf at all and i i just i need help i don't know what to do with it there used to be a chair here behind me and then the chair took up too much room there's like not enough room in this room i mean it's a pretty decent sized bedroom but because of the depth the depth of my bookshelves they take up a lot of room so to have a piece of furniture in here is really kind of tough let's go over here next so over here i'll zoom out for a second i had my dad take the door off the closet because it was like in the way and went into the books and was just kind of like useless. And I'm like, well, this is space I can kind of use over here. Um, hey, what's up? Hello. So I don't really have much of anything at all in here right now. The cat sometimes sleeps there. This is a shelf that I have like book sleeves and memorabilia type of things. And then that's like eating disorder stuff that I don't really want to do right now. Meaning talk about, not, not do. Ronnie, say hello. She's being shy. And then this corner is where I keep like, this is my TBR. That's empty. So obviously I'm reading that one. And then I've got my TBR cart down to like nothing, you guys. So this is technically part of my TBR shelf, except I don't really have plans for much of anything right now. We have some poetry on this end that I know I'll get to 
this chunk is all stuff that I would like to read one day, but I just don't know when. Same thing with these. Like, I would like to read them, but I don't have any realistic expectations. So at one point I used to have, let me flip you around. Can you see how dusty this mirror is? <laughs> At one point I used to have like a little beanbag chair in there and I would sit in there and then the cats took it over and so then I like stopped using it. So do you guys have any good ideas of what to do with this closet space? I know I could do like more shelving straight across. I could do some shelving up there and my dad would definitely help me with that. And then with the door off of it, it would still look cool because I would still be able to display all of the books there. But right now it just kind of feels like wasted space kind of messy and pointless and it is like makes me angry every time I walk in here I guess that's how I feel about most things overall in the library just like could be so much better if I just got it together okay at this point we're gonna go shelf by shelf we're gonna start by the windows and move our way around that way and Rana wants to be the one giving the tour the whole time yep Okay, so zoomed out, we can get like a full glance at the shelf. And it's like, at first I would just have a book or two sideways on top because there wasn't room. And now it's turned into like the epitome of every single shelf. So let's quickly go through. This is not going to be like a, I'm going to say every book title. Don't you worry. So on this very corner shelf, we have middle grade, young adult, middle grade, middle grade, Stephen King. And then this is all Star Wars and Funko Pops. This little section right here is like thriller, mystery sort of. And then this is a mishmash of fantasy that I have liked throughout time. Some of them I really love. Like I really do love some of the books on the shelf, but they're also ones that I don't talk about much or do with. Same thing right down here. And some of these are books that I hated or didn't really love too much. Same thing with the shelf. Like some of these I hated and some are okay. So it's just like they are not matched up. They don't look nice together. So that's the entirety of that shelf. And then we move past my pretty little tree here and we'll go over here. These shelves I like way more, but they are extremely messy. As you can see, like more books sideways on top which is driving me insane. So up here we have like YA contemporaries that I loved, older young adult books, YA contemporaries and like thrillers, YA fantasy. Some of these I have read recently. These are like collector's editions and pretty books that I liked. Some of my favorite YA, more of my favorite YA. Same thing here. I guess there's a lot of favorite YAs on the top part of this. And then these are just like, prettier covers of some of the young adult book series that I've read over time that pretty much all match up. So like overall, I don't hate these shelves too much other than there's not enough room. And now we'll go over here. This shelf is a disaster because I don't know how to fix it. I have a lot of adult sci-fi and fantasy series and the books are just everywhere over it so let's take a look like this when i finally got the ninth book i'm like okay where am i gonna put it because there's no room here because i have this like collector's edition that my sister got me i got brianne here same thing with like the sarah j mass shelf like i need to fit this pretty soon i'm gonna have to fit book three where is it gonna go that just is there because it reminds me of sarah j mass i don't know but like from here to here is sarah j mass so and then this is S.A. Shockerboardy, and this is Shannon Shockerboardy. So they go together, you know? What am I supposed to do? We've got some Red Rising, and then all my Hyperion, like, favorite Polish editions. And then these, Isaac Asimov. I've read, like, everything on here. The only thing I've not read so far, actually, is this book, just in case you were wondering. Now we get to the really messy, where I have things sideways. All my Dune editions, which, like, none of those can go. It drives me insane that Java Crombie's other series isn't tall, so like it can't go next to all my other Joe Abercrombie books. And I think these all look nice together, but I'm gonna have to separate them. This should be down here, but doesn't fit. And then I like keeping all of this series together where we've got like the red, yellow, blue thing that was going on in fantasy for a while. Like all the red, yellow, blue was just a thing. My Malazan books take up almost a whole shelf. My Wheel of Time books certainly do take up a whole shelf. And then we've just got like random laying there. 
on to the next one. This is the messiest. Just take just take a brief overview of this. <laughs> it's a literal disaster. I hate it so much. So I don't know. These are books I don't really think about all too much, except for like I love Gideon. So some things I like, some things not so much. This is like blasphemous. I should be fined for treating my books like this, but I can't like separate the Sanderson. This is just random. Oh my gosh, that has completely faded from the sun. Yikes, I didn't realize that would happen. That is quite concerning about the books on this shelf. But like there's things that go together, like that's a series, here's that, but where's the third one? Who knows? So those can't even be together. And then these used to look nice. Wow, those are all faded. Oh, this is a sad day, you guys. We're learning this together. Did you guys know this would happen? Some books I don't care about so much anymore that I've read and then I have all my manga down here, which like I like having the manga together. This is all manga I've read and on the next shelf I'll show you some I haven't. So this shelf is once again like disastrous with books sideways. So we have my bread weeks, which I don't want to separate. A lot of my SF masterworks, which I don't want to separate. I like having a shelf just for the Lord of the Rings. These are like some favorites and this needs to go with that and that needs to go with that but there's not room these are like some other genre favorites oh that needs to go up there here's some poetry this is all poetry that i've read and then down here is all these i've read on this side and i've not read these on this side i believe for graphic novels and manga finally one more shelf guys this is this one's this one might be the worst of all if you just take like a a quick glance at all of the sideways books. It's pretty bad. So up here, mostly all classics. And then this is my literary fiction bookshelf. So pretty much all the way down, it's literary fiction except for what's on top of it. Same thing here. I mean, these are all books that I really like and enjoy until you get down to here. And then this is my nonfiction shelf, which has bled over to some of the other shelves. And then this is like my horror shelf, which I enjoy. So one more thing to show you. We have way, way up high. So as you can see, there's like a gap up here. So my thought is we could take the books and stack them, turn them this way. And then I could put some of my older young adult books up there because these are all, if you just catch a quick glance at those titles, I'm gonna move and go around. They are older titles and I don't really look, about, look at them or think about them. So I could stack them upwards. These are really like, cause these are special, like Steven Erickson himself sent me that. That's a cool copy of Gardens of the Moon. That's an arc of Jabber Crombie that I stole from someone. Not really stole. These are just cool editions of books that I like having. So I wouldn't really mess those shelves up too much because these are all Harry Potter editions. All of these. The whole thing is different editions of Harry Potter that I have. And as we make our way this way, it is just like things that got me into reading more really old young adult things and like all stuff that doesn't really need to be accessed too often so that is all of that so that's why i need your guys help because uh, my library is so messy and i have no idea what to do with it if i could just pay somebody to come in and reorganize it in a way that made sense and like stack all the books up ne neatly and nicely so that it didn't look like this anymore i would but unfortunately i don't know any library organizers off the top of my head <laughs> so there's a little before for you guys hopefully very soon i will be doing a library organization video so you can organize with me that'll probably be like a lot of b-roll because i feel like a lot of books are going to need to come down and go back up a lot of things will need to move around but that's what you got for now let me know let me know what you guys think i'm scared to see your comments honestly because it is a bit of a disaster but let me know. Give me your help. Give me your ideas. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. I've been